Hi, Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a rather cranky candy cane for the holiday season. This candy cane kind of has a reason to be a little bit frustrated because it's a little bit fearful that it might get eaten. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. So we're gonna draw our unimpressed candy cane. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna draw, um, actually we're gonna start off with an oval at the top here. So we're gonna draw like a sideways, nice big oval. We don't want a narrow candy cane, we want a big one. And we're gonna start off with the inside curve. It's always easier I find. So I'm gonna start off here on the inside of my candy cane. I'm gonna go up. Nice big cane shape and down. Or if you think about it, you're, it's like a, when you draw a lowercase letter F, it's like that top part of the letter F. So we're kind of starting off with almost like a letter F shape. Okay. Next I'm gonna now do the same shape but a little bit bigger up around and down. Okay, so up around and down. And now we're gonna draw this curve down here. So we're gonna make this same curve line, but we're gonna add it at the bottom to finish off the end of our unimpressed candy cane. Now if you have any lines that you would like to go ahead and smooth out or tidy up, you can go ahead and draw around them a second time just to give them a nice clean look. All right, we're gonna draw our face. So next I'm gonna draw two straight lines where I wanna put my face. I like the idea of putting it down here, but really you can add it wherever you want. Two thick straight lines right across here. Connect the bottoms with a U shape. And then we're gonna add a pupil in there and we're gonna color it in, leaving just a tiny little bit of white. Perfect. Next, we're gonna add a straight line across for a mouth. Two curving lines, just like that. Up in the oval, we're gonna add a spiral. where the colors were kind of molded together. We're gonna add some stripes. Now we want to make sure that these stripes are parallel to the curve of the candy cane. So this is a nice curvy line. It's not straight across, across. So we wanna do the same for the stripes as well. And that will create the illusion that this is a three-dimensional curving shape versus something that's just flat, like the paper that we're drawing on. Okay, we're gonna add some curving rectangles to create the glare of light here and there, and of course, these are going to remain nice and white. Even add one at the bottom. Maybe I'll add one sideways there. Just like that. Next, we're gonna give our candy cane some arms. So we're gonna draw one that comes out and back down. And I'll draw the fingers sort of with its hands on its hips. This side's gonna go down and then out. I'm gonna stop because I gotta give it a sign to hold. So we're gonna add Sort of a stick here first. I'm gonna add a rectangle right across, just like that. And of course, the top of the stick that holds it. Now I'm gonna have its fingers wrapping around, just like that. 
I like to add a little bit of texture in things, so I'm gonna add some texture here and there up the stick that it is holding. Perfect. Now you can write whatever you would like in your sign, but mine's simply gonna say, please don't eat me. That's why mine is so unimpressed. Please don't eat. I'm gonna place emphasis on me. So I'll add some capitals. And so that it sounds like it's yelling, we're gonna of course add in some exclamation marks. Lots of exclamation marks. Just to make sure that this candy cane proves its point. All right, lovely. Here we go. We're gonna add some colors to this candy cane. I got my red here. I'm gonna start off my first stripe red. Now you might not like red candy canes and if you like different flavors, that's okay. You make your candy cane whatever flavor you would like. I'm gonna make mine a traditional red and white striped peppermint candy cane. Again, you can pick whatever colors you would like to do. Now, as I do these red stripes, I'm gonna leave some of the top there white, just to add a little bit more shine and texture to my candy cane. And you might notice I'm skipping stripes, so every second one I'm, of course, going to make that a little bit more red. I'm gonna add some brown to the stick on the sign. And I think I'm gonna color in my sign. It's sort of a creamy color. But you can color it in whatever color you would like. All right, lovely. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we add a little bit of holly leaves to our sign? Oh yes, that would look lovely, wouldn't it? Make it Christmassy, right? Okay, we're gonna draw some straight lines out. So one straight line there, one straight line there. I'm just using a thin black marker. Okay. Next, we're gonna draw some curving lines out. We're gonna go curve and up to a point, curve up to a point, curve out to one big point back the other way, curve down to a point, down to a point, down to a point, in. We'll do it the same way, same way down here as well. I'll extend that out. All right, curve out to a point, out to a point, out to a point, big point, and then bring it back in. Oh yes, you can even add a few berries in there if you can manage to get some berries around. This is an extra Christmassy protest here. All right, I'm gonna color in the leaves green and because they're so tiny, I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white along the edges intentionally to make it shiny as holly leaves are indeed quite shiny. Perfect, and we gotta get a little bit of that red going on the berries. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of white along their tops again for that shine. Perfect. That looks great. Now it feels Christmassy. Okay. Great. We're gonna take this gray and we're gonna add a nice big shadow along this inside line. I'm skipping over the eyes. Bring it up and around and over. Beautiful. Add a little shadow to the bottom here. Well, that was unintentional. I'll think about that. All right. 
curve, sorry, shadow along the bottom there. We of course want to add a shadow along the bottom of the stick and around the bottom of the sign. And you can add a shadow up the center of those holly leaves, shadow on the mouth, and along the underside of the eyes. So that way he looks extra tired and stressed out about <laughs> being eaten. <laughs> All right, that, hmm. We're gonna turn that into a background pattern. You don't need to do that if you did not make a mistake but I did. So we gotta take our mistakes and make them something. It's all about the process of making art and using permanent markers. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. And just like that, your lovely, unimpressed candy cane is done. I'm Ms. Arcassi and I just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.